Welcome again to Educator.com or the disadvantages and advantages of internet research or just internet research and library research. This lesson, I'm going to tell you about what the internet can do for you and what the library can do for you. I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both. Hint, you still need to go to libraries. We're not quite there yet. So. Let's start with the internet since this is educator.com and you are watching this on the internet and you, like me, don't always want to be at the library. You'd rather do things really fast at home. Well, let's talk about what the internet has done well. First off, it really has helped us get information faster. I mean, the internet revolution is pretty much like the Gutenberg uh, revolution back in the 1500s. It's that big of a deal. It has really, really helped us just get so much information and in the process, it has also made the world smaller. What do you think I mean by that? What do I mean by making the world smaller? It's a figure of speech. I don't mean the planet went like this and then is like this. But I do mean this. When I was years ago, before the internet was popular, I used to have to write hand letters to my cousin in the Philippines. Now, I just send emails to my cousin in the Philippines. Kind of miss sending hand letters, though. That was kind of fun. But you kind of get the idea. My cousin in the Philippines is just really easy for me to get in contact with now. There's no need to send letters. There's no need to send postage stamps. I don't even remember what a post office is anymore. Also, it has made software distribution faster. Now, this might be bad news if you're running a video game or software company, but that's another great thing about the Internet. It's just a software just is always there, and it's right at your fingertips. Now, here's what the internet has not done well, or what I call perils of the internet. It enhances our ADHD. If you think I'm kidding about this, I'm not. I'm not actually exaggerating at all. ADHD correlates with a lot of visual stimuli, and the internet is just kind of full of that. It's so hard to concentrate sometimes. And as you're just so used to, you know, having five browser windows open, typing up a paper, and listening to music all at the same time, it tends to make things difficult to concentrate when you need to concentrate. Also, it keeps us connected with other people. But you know I put that in quotation marks. Did you know that you can only be in a steady, real friendship with about 150 people maximum at any given period of time? How many people are on your Facebook friends list? Probably more than 150 people which means probably most of those people aren't people you're really in a close relationship and friendship with, but you just kind of think they are. I mean, really, there comes a point where Facebook friends just kind of become a glorified address book. 